Hey, Andrew's Mike Doyle here with my buddy Nick, and we're going to talk about um, <clears throat> something that I think is lost on some people a little bit is um, recovering and, and not even recovering, but just putting yourself in position to be able to recover some guard. Um, and so what we're talking about is this knee elbow connection. Um, I've been thinking about this a lot and how when somebody passes, whether it's just a regular side control or whatever, um, if I can just get my knee and my elbow connected right here, how strong this is for me, keeping them out of this pocket in between my hip and my armpit, and it creates a nice little wall for that uh, to, to keep space, and it makes him want to move, it uh, makes him not, uh, not feel very comfortable in this position. Um, and so anytime I start to get my guard passed, all I'm trying to do is just create enough space to kind of bump and get my knee and elbow together and then I can start to work on creating some distance because I know that it's going to create some space for us to uh, start to move underneath our partner and it creates a nice set of frames to keep him off of me from pressuring me and it makes him want to move and so when he wants to move that creates openings for me to start to recover my guard and in the 10th planet warm-ups in C1 today is C warm up so it uh, made me think about it even more was um, hybrid side control where he goes to a head and arm in a judo side control position there you go uh, from judo side control and I'm working to get my right elbow down to my right knee underneath of his hips so I'm working this elbow down by turning and driving my knee under his butt and bringing my elbow down and kind of framing his hips here and then I'm bumping to get my knee in and as he restarts to switch to recover I can come right up into a butterfly or as the warm-up set goes into a closed guard situation. So what we're trying to do in that warm-up set that goes through that same uh, thought process is getting that knee elbow connection. So I'm kind of bumping him here, bumping him here, getting my knee elbow, a little bit of a hip escape uh, to create space. He doesn't like the position that we're winding up in. And then I just shoot to my closed guard. And then the flow continues on after that. But it's just something to think about when you're on bottom, you feel like you're getting your guard passed uh, or it does get passed is just think about getting enough space to, to create a good frame here with your knee and your elbow connected and you'll find yourself getting back to guard or at least creating scrambles to, to work back to guard uh, a lot more often than just trying to think of a big, strong, solid uh, sweep or something to recover. Thanks guys.